they happen to spend uh, a great time together and uh, what follows next is what the movie is all about. Uh, it also in some ways touches on the whole gender inequality on why certain things are okay for guys and not for the girls, where why women are always kind of judged on basis of uh, what their relations are. Whether she, she always will be either a daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother. She's never an individual who's given a right to do as she pleases. If, and if she does, God forbid, she's judged because of it. So uh, in our own little ways, we have tried to deal with that. Uh, the rest. I guess it's, it's, it's a drama, it's another drama. Uh, if there's anything more that you need in terms of explanation, I'll be happy to. So why did you do such a subject? For women uh, and not for men. I'm you know, that's, that question is not just limited to India. Right. These, uh, these kind of differences, these kind of double standards exist everywhere. It's not just limited to India, which is what I was saying. If, it, if it's a guy who does it, it's okay. He's even looked up to. He's considered a star. But the minute a woman does it, it's, you know, you'll be calling her all sorts of names. And it's not just limited to the guys. It's even us women who kind of indulge in that kind of name calling. So that's what we are trying to say. Why do we judge people on basis of a single act? Does that single act determine who they are as individuals? Why can't we let the past or whatever that action be and just accept a person for who he or she is? That's, that's all. So, uh, sex is not really a taboo. Uh, as I said, people just don't talk about it. When they want to do it, they just do it. <laughs> this is not something we talk about. Um, whether it's here, whether it's in the U.S., whether it's you know anywhere in the world. It's not something that we're all open to talk about our most intimate um, moments in life. Why should anybody know what anybody is doing uh, behind closed doors. I don't want to know. It's gross. Uh, Ma'am, my question is to you. Uh, you believe in women empowerment, don't you? And then, uh, so uh, recently you've said, okay. recently you've said that the most basic uh, requirement for women empowerment is to make your own decisions, make your own small decisions. But you've also said that you consult and uh, in a way, your husband directs you for every kind of movie that you do. So, aren't you contradicting yourself in that? Um, well, obviously, the whole story wasn't told in whoever wrote that. Right. Um, my husband and I have a partnership. Look, not just as husband and wife, as friends, as a confidant, as somebody who does manage my career, someone that I turn to. But our process is very clear. I deal with creatives. Uh, I don't think there was one time Daniel came in the way of our conversations of how creatively we should shoot this movie. Uh, it's just on the business side. If you have a best friend that you spend every single day with, of course you can say, hey, Tanuj, you know, what do you think of this idea? That's just what happens. Um, there's a big difference between being confident and being a confident woman and also consulting your husband. Why should that, why should that be wrong? Um, so... In that way, yes, I do talk to him about all my projects. And we talk about it and we discuss it together. What's best for the brand? What's best for me? But you, you deny know? that he directs you towards... He doesn't doing... direct anything except for direct... Would you like to you answer could, her? You could ask me directly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the creative process. She picks, chooses, reads everything with her own script. Okay. I'm the business manager. I deal with the financial side, the dates. That's all dealing with the producers. This is her career. She's the one, as I tell every producer or director, as I told Jasmine, she's the one that's on camera. She has to decide. This is her choice. Why should I make that choice for her? So. She was different then. But uh, along with me being in front of the camera, I've also been assisting my husband for the last almost 17, 18 years. And we have been, I have been behind the scenes helping him um, with the creative processes, uh, so it's not something that's been new to me. Uh, however, I had made a conscious decision uh, because I had a child and he was growing up that I needed to be there for him. 
So that was my reason for staying back and not pretty much working. Uh, as far as coming to women's empowerment on that front is concerned, I think there's nothing more empowering than her. But yes, uh, my experiences as a model, um, as someone in front of the camera, have definitely helped me with my creative aspects of uh, filmmaking on making things look really nice and pretty because I was in advertising. And I think we have <laughs> kind of achieved that for our film because uh, I think it's a beautiful looking film with two gorgeous looking people who've done um, really, really a great job. So I can't visualize it. If I can't picturize it in my head, uh, I don't, uh, I can't work on it. So even though there are a couple of uh, subjects that we've been uh, deal, I mean, people have come to us with, uh, I'm not, I still haven't zeroed in on anything yet. Yeah, so, um, what's it? Yeah. Hello, hello, okay. So, um, uh, my character's name is Orville, and uh, he's, uh, if you've seen the trailer, you know he's like this married guy, and he's got a, a wonderful wife and a wonderful family and a good job, and everything's good on paper, you know, but uh, he's someone who is uh, not just happy and satisfied with that, he wants more, he likes um, uh, going out and having fun and indulging in uh, uh, flings and one night stands and whatnot, but at the same time, he has these... Uh, a double standards. If his wife were to even in a conversation bring up something like that, like, oh, tomorrow what if I were to have something, like a fling, or what if I cheated on him? He was completely ballistic. So, um, I think this sums up um, a lot of guys in um, even our modern day society as much as we may say that we've progressed and like uh, men and women are on the same pedestal and stuff. I don't think that really is the case, at least not as yet. So, I think uh, uh, this character and this film is a reflection of the times that we are living in 2016. Right? It was awesome. I think she's been uh, she's been a very large hearted, awesome co-star, uh, and uh, I've been I've been saying this in all my interviews, and I do mean this uh, that if um, uh, at least based on initial reactions, I think people have liked what we've done in the trailer. So I hope you like the film, and uh, if I do get any good reviews and good feedback, I think a uh, large part of the process goes to the, all the success goes to these two uh, guys sitting over here, one behind the camera, one in front of the camera. The, she for directing me so well and she for being a wonderful co-star because I don't think uh, as uh, uh, intense and complex uh, as uh, this character was, I don't think I would have been uh, able to pull it off if uh, Sunny wasn't the perfect foil and she was uh, an awesome partner, an awesome partner in crime I would say, every 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 step along the way, you know, for, for, every, uh, for every evil thing I threw at her and for all the stalking and all the bullshit that this guy put her character through, I mean she stood her ground and I mean like, she's awesome, so yeah. Good one. So, character is going to have some shades of grey as well? Oh so, man, he's some shades of grey, he's a hundred shades of grey, not just some shades of grey. He's, uh, see, uh, again, um, I don't think it's, uh, uh, as, as an actor, I would never judge uh, a character before I play, because then, then you become very uh, 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 judgmental and calculated towards what you should and should not do. Like, for example, tomorrow, if my character is cheating on his wife, that does not mean I agree or, well, I may not even disagree with him, but I'm the one to judge. I am just... I, I'm the water and he's the bowl, so I just have to go and fill up that glass of water and, and, and be that character in that moment. And of course, when the film is out, then you can uh, be uh, free to form your opinion and stuff. So uh, that's that's what I chose to do. And uh, yeah, he does have shades of grey, and that's what made him more exciting because I think um, I don't think it's white or black. I mean, we don't. It's not like in real life they're heroes and they're villains. Right? Everyone has their good sides and their bad sides. So I think he's just an extension of all of us in some way. I think, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, uh, see, in my, uh, in my, in my previous film, I played this like out and out kind of like, uh, nice, kind of positive, happy, go lucky guy and stuff and all that. And so I, I want to break away from that because I think the worst thing, the worst crime you can commit as an actor in any creative process is to get stuck in a rut and just get stuck in the same kind of rules. So, um, uh, when this opportunity presented itself, I jumped on it because I'm like, you know, at such an early juncture in my career, if I'm getting, uh, uh, to diversify and, and be someone so far removed from what I've played till date. It's, it's, it's challenging, but if it's not challenging, it's no fun, right? Because 
when you become part of a film, you shoot for about 50, 60 days, you know, the whole process from pre-production to workshops to um, uh, dubbing, now how we are promoting the film, it lasts almost 8, 10 months, sometimes a year, so you want to be 100% convinced that you can A, play that part and B, you, um, it, 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 it gives you a certain amount of creative satisfaction, so, yeah. Thank you. Sunny, you are doing a lot of things like you are doing anchoring for a show, you are doing you know, writing, now you are started writing. But there is something about you that how you, you know, try to do everything in, in this industry. So what is your strategy to, to get into this? Um, first of all, to understand the industry. Uh, Bollywood, what is it? Production, how is it? How is it? To really understand the business side of it also. My husband has done beautifully, um, but also understanding, uh, you know, where not where you stand, but yeah, uh, yeah, for And both uh, sides offers out there for so many different things, whether it be uh, writing or movies, TV shows, but also decide what's best for the brand, what's best for my career. Do many personal choices. The writing was a personal challenge. And for some people, yeah, for some people. It was a lot more difficult than, than I thought it was going to be. Um, but other essay offers are, I want to be in dream. I want to be in this industry. Um, this, for me, is a gift, everything that's been given over the last five years. So if I get a chance to be on MTV, then I want to say, hi, I'm Sunny Leone, and you're watching MTV. And now I get to do it. Or if you know, I get to make films that uh, have different types of characters like this, then my move are not happy. And just trying so many different things, other uh, positively accept for that, yeah, um, there's success behind it, then that's wonderful. Other um, uska success nahi hota, then mujhe pata that, okay, chalo, hum go same cheez nahi karte, kuch different try karte. Instead, you are experimenting all the First of all, so thanks for that, and also the press and media also for being, <laughs> being nice and also at times not being so nice, but uh, Joe yeah, that's that's the name of the game. And you want to do a lot of experimentation, but don't you think Bollywood, especially when it comes to your films, they are like offering you only the similar kind of roles every time, the similar kind of films? Um, only one kind of that genre, My films genre. are the same. Uh, Leela is both different. Uh, Ragni MMS is both different. Um, uh, my last movie, Masti Zale, is a beautiful different. All the characters are the same. I mean, all the char characters are not the same. Um, they, for me, are different. If I come to this industry or I tell you, okay, I will be a turtle and I will only be, um, you know, certain characters that might fit what maybe you want to see. But that's not what I want to see. That's not how I want to be in this industry. So, huh? Is this the way you want to be? Like you've been doing well, I don't know what your perception of me is, ma'am. <laughs> I, I don't have any perception. I'm just asking, like, do you want to fix yourself to this particular genre or you want to do something else? Jo mene kiya, life mene I've traveled on my own path. And for and I will always continue to travel on my own path. Jo mere liye work hota, aapke liye nahi hoga. Um... And that I believe in. I'm very blessed that mujhe, I think, are very different roles. If an intimate scene hota hai ek film, if a bikini in a movie, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. Everybody's kissing each other. Everybody's having intimate scenes. Sub, you know, romance. Why can't they say you're doing action scenes and action films? Yes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would love to do action movie. I I love being in a harness. I love the idea <laughs> of <laughs> jumping around different places and, and trying different things. Um, I think a very a chess script up there that has that. I would love to take up that challenge. Sunday's movie me. You are Punjabi cinema? You are Punjabi? Yes. Uh, I read every script. I read every synopsis. I read everything that comes to me. And... Um, as if you were that Punjabi scripts, as if Punjabi productions or writers, directors have come to me. Um, but um, it was, I think people get shocked that I actually read everything. Or a response, but then they're not ready for it. 
they personally are not ready for, oh, what was his name? Bada? And it was called Chalaga? Uh, so there's lots of different puzzles to making, you know, puzzle pieces to making a film. It's not just that an actor likes it. Um, you have to think of everything that goes on with the film. Yes, How much do you personally resonate with the character of Selena, the travel blogger that you're playing in the film? I took the time to actually understand why things were happening. Uh, because I didn't relate to her at all. So in that way, I think, uh, for me, it was a learning experience to see, okay, this process works when somebody explains it. I might not agree with this character's decision, <laughs> but the process, Jesse, Jasmine, her take me explain, and she didn't let me change any of the dialogue. the directors of Humpty, put a script, and I say, I word I say, I don't like uh, when I say it, I tell you like that, but she says, no, practice and say these words. And um, at that point, you have to surrender and do it. Yeah. Would you say this has been your most uh, challenging role as, as of now? I think emotionally, yes. Um, uh, physically, no, you need drama. And, uh, Any planning in future for the film? Mera planning to hai, but <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future. Agar hum kaam karte ya nahi kaam karte. Um, that I can't predict the future, but I want to do it. If I get a Even if they say that Sunny, I need a passing, I need a passing scene behind me. Um, because when you get a chance to work with and anybody. How do, you, and how do you see the support that you have got after that? From the audience side, from the viewer side? Uh, first, first of all, my fans have so much support. Kiya. Um, I thought the opposite was going to happen. Because he was a senior journalist, tha, so I thought, okay, they'll take it at, as face value, and and my doghouse me home. But my uh, fans would just support me. Um, then came different celebrities, Bollywood celebrities, uh, out of a very awkward situation, which um, was good, but it took me a long time to absorb what was happening. So it was very unexpected for me. I had no idea that I was, I was getting into what I was getting to. And it um, took me a while, but I think something is good for you. You know, for that moment, might not feel good, but something positive came out of it. Thank you.